Hey guys, hope you are doing good. Uh, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. We have a pretty straightforward question again asked sometimes in tech companies. So we have given a set of words. We need to find the longest palindrome in this set of words. What is a palindrome? Let's take for example the word madam. Okay, the spelling is M A D A M. If you reverse the word, even then the spelling is M A D A M, right? Similarly with kayak. K A Y A K. If you reverse the word also, it is K A Y A K. Same with rotator, and same with deed. Okay, because the reverse is also D E E D. These are all palindromes. So now our job is to find the longest palindrome in this list of words. So for that, what can we do as first step? We can find if the words are palindrome or not. That is our first step, right? So we can say select star from this table where naming, right, which is the name of the column. Is equal to reverse of naming. So what this reverse function will do is, will basically reverse the spelling of the word, and then we are comparing if the reverse of the spelling is the same as the actual spelling of the word. So when we run this, let's see what we get. We get only these four words because these are the only four palindromes where even the reverse spelling is same as the actual spelling. Okay. So step one is done. Now we want to find the longest palindrome, right? So in this, if you just see it. We know rotator is the longest palindrome as it has what one two three four seven letters. So let us try to find the maximum length. So we can say maximum of length of naming. So length function finds the length of the word. Okay. So when I do this, I'll get seven. Okay. But how do we output only the word, right? In this case, how do we output rotator? So for that, what we can do is. Could put this in a sub query, so we could say select naming, which is the column from the table. Step number one, okay, palindrome. Then in the where condition, we could say where length of naming in. So where the length has to be. In this value, which is seven, okay. So essentially, as we are selecting naming from the table, and in the where condition, we are saying length of the naming length should be equal to this. This uh, sub query will return basically the length of the longest palindrome, right? So in this case, the output of this sub query will be seven. So we are just saying naming from cricket dot palindrome where length of naming equal to this. And we could add naming equal to reverse naming here as well, so that the one we output has to be a palindrome, right? If there was another word with the same seven letters but not a palindrome, even that would show up. So to kind of offset that, we can also put that in the uh, where clause. So where length of naming in this, this is step number one, and this is to make sure that is also a palindrome. Now when I run this. Let's just drag this down, and yeah. And now, if I run this, we get the word rotator. Remember that if there was another palindrome with the same number of letters, even that would have been shown, okay? Because we are just checking for the length, and we are checking if it's a palindrome. So, say there was another seven-letter word which was also a palindrome, we would have got two outputs, okay? Very easy but interesting question. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you again in another video. Till then, take care.